So the other day, I got an unexpected phone call from my dad, wondering if I wanted to fly with him and my mom that very day to Osaka, Japan. And so I said yes, because in my family, when you get a phone call like that, you just say yes. And there was a few remarkable things about the trip. The first is that my dad would be flying as the captain on the United Airlines Boeing 787 on the way over. But my dad is an airline pilot, and in reality, it's not that unusual for family members to accompany airline staff sometimes on their trips. So the truly remarkable thing is that my older brother, Christoph, would also be going on the trip. And the cool thing is that he would be flying the flight with my dad as the first officer in the cockpit on the way over. So this all bears a little explaining. A few years ago, my brother got hired on at United Airlines where my dad's been flying for the last 25 years. And my brother worked his way up the ranks and flew bigger and bigger planes. And last year, through a series of fortunate circumstances, both my dad and my brother were able to change planes to the same plane, the Boeing 787. And when they got into training, they started talking about how cool it would be if they would be able to get the same base and eventually be able to fly on the same route together, the same trip together, all before my dad retired in about the next year. But that sounds simple enough, but getting all those three things to line up is actually quite a bit of a long shot. Getting the plane and the base was hard enough, but then when you change to a new plane, oftentimes you don't have that much control over your schedule. So getting a trip together was gonna to be a long shot before my dad retired. Either way, I told them, if you ever get the stars to align, call me up because I wanna come and film the whole thing for you. So there I was last week, the phone call came, my dad was like, it's happening. It's a once in a million chance of a lifetime. And uh, we're able to do that today. We both got the same trip for tomorrow. And uh, hence, a very special day. And before I knew it, I was there in the cockpit with them, filming my dad and my brother, prepping the flight for the trip to Osaka. The most critical part of the trip is proper caffeine management. Gotta get the energy drink here. Thank you very much. Second most critical part of the free flight is choosing which meal I want. The short rib, the seared filet, or the spicy chicken. It's a tough decision. We're gonna go with spicy chicken today. To put icing on the cake, both my mom and I got business first class sitting next to each other. So we were able to enjoy our fancy food and our life lap beds while listening to some very familiar voices give those pilot announcements. So welcome aboard, a uh, special day, and uh, we'll uh, have a great flight to Osaka and uh, it's time to fly. So thanks Pops for all the hookups, and by the way, nice landing. Once in Japan, and it wasn't time to rest because my dad was eager to show us what is perhaps his favorite perk about being an international airline pilot captain. And that's his trips to Japan for the world's best sushi. It was a pretty cool celebration. Cheers, Gary. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> United Airlines. United Airlines. <laughs> so what's so manly about all this? I think this is a great example of getting your act together as a man and pursuing a craft and a purpose over the long haul of your life and the benefits that that can bring. My dad was in early high school and he realized he had this passion for aviation and he also realized that he'd have to get his act together 
if he wanted to actually make it a reality. So he did. He buckled down, he got his act together, and took things seriously in high school, and got himself an ROTC scholarship. And that eventually led to marrying my mom, who wasn't gonna settle for any old knucklehead. She wanted someone who was going places, like a fighter pilot. And that's what he became. He flew F-15s for the Air Force. And after they'd had enough of that life, he transferred over to airlines. And that's where he spent the next couple of decades, honing his craft, providing for his family, staying loyal to my mom and his kids, and eating a lot of world-class sushi, oftentimes alone. So I think this all shows that doing the manly basics in life, getting your act together, pursuing something meaningful, not just for a few years, but for decades, can really bear its fruit. One day you'll be eating that sushi dinner on the other side of the world, not just with the pilot's son, who you flew the plane over with, but with your devoted wife, and even with your other son, who, although he may not have followed the chosen path, could at least come along as cameraman. So what are you pursuing in your life over the long haul? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you out in the arena.